God bless you. Saint Christian, you need the Holy Ghost. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Truly believe. God just said some words. I believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I confess Romans 10 and 9. I believe God raised from the dead. But truly believe. Believe until you obey him. Believe until you repent of your sin. Believe till you call on him to take away your sin. Believe till you obey him. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Since you follow in Jesus. Since you believe Jesus Christ. Since you call on Jesus to take away all your sin. Since you believe Jesus' blood for the remission of your sin. You believe him to wash your sin away. And you believe him and you came to him. And you repented and you called on him. And you turned from your sin. And now you follow in Jesus. Doing his will. You need the Holy Ghost. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Jesus left the Holy Ghost. Jesus said, I, I go to my father and he going to send you another comfort. Jesus ain't down here now, but he left the Holy Ghost. He said, when the Holy Ghost is called, he'll lead you and guide you into all truth. You shall be my witnesses. I will the Holy Ghost to come upon you. Hallelujah. And you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Power to witness. Power to preach. Power to stand. Power to not compromise. Power. Hallelujah. The spirit of truth, they'll lead you and guide you to all truth. The spirit ain't lead you in the false doctrine. Spirit ain't lead you to source seed for a miracle. Spirit ain't lead you to say no matter without sin. We all got sin. Spirit ain't lead you to say Jesus Christ is not the Son of God. Spirit ain't lead you to say no matter got no heaven hell put you in. Ah. Led by the Spirit, by His Word. Stick to His Word. Hallelujah. Where ain't nobody perfect, ain't no Spirit lead you to say that. Spirit ain't lead you there. Hallelujah. We we all mess up sometimes. The Spirit didn't lead you to mess up. The Holy Ghost didn't lead you to mess up. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? You need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost leads and guides all truth. The Holy Ghost won't let you take down. Hallelujah. No matter the whole church be against you. No matter all God people be against you. as they were against Jesus and the apostles. The Holy Ghost. You'll be persecuted. And criticize and ostracize. They do all bad evil against you. They stole the apostles, beat them, and uh, put them in jail and prison, but they continue to preach. They call them the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Uh, the old songs say, Something silent me, tell me to go ahead. Uh, the Holy Ghost won't let you quit. The Holy Ghost won't open, no one let you close your mouth. The Holy Ghost won't let you preach the law of Moses. Tied and all required. The law still required. Not the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost preached Jesus Christ and him crucified and his blood and for the middle of your sin. His blood take away your sin. He's all the way to salvation. Not the law. Not tithing. Not circumcision. Not the temple in Jerusalem. You need the Holy Ghost. Ask the Lord to bathe. They were all in one place with one accord. And they were praying. 
magnify God. You pray and ask the Lord to fill you with the Holy Ghost, uh, and he will fill you with the Holy Ghost. Uh, yes, and you will speak it all the time, and spirit give us. Uh, hallelujah. But that power uh, is more than tall. That power, that power help you to stand. You stand with Jesus. Ain't no take down that power. The power won't let you quit. If you quit, that's on you. That ain't on the Holy Ghost. If you compromise, that's on you. That ain't no Holy Ghost. If you preach false, that's you. That's not the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost keep you preaching the truth. Won't let you compromise. Won't let you deviate from the word of God. Won't let you preach false doctrine. Won't let you preach seed sowing. The Holy Ghost won't let you preach. Ain't nobody without sin. We all got sin. The Holy Ghost. You preach Jesus Christ saved from sin. All the him is able to keep you from falling. Walk after the spirit and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Don't sin. Don't yield your bibles. And this is unrighteous. Live by every word. Lay aside every way of sin. That does so evil beset us. That run his ways with patience. Look it unto Jesus. The heart that fears of our faith. You need the Holy Ghost. Well, ain't nobody got no hair in the head. But yeah, well, don't judge. Don't the Holy Ghost talk like that. You're going to say what Jesus said. Whatever Jesus said. He said the Holy Ghost going to bring all things to your bill. Whatever he said. Now he said, go sin no more. Why you sin? He looking for you, repent. He lead the night and night and go out with the one. Hallelujah. Bring him back. Repent of your sin. Come on back to God. All right. You need the Holy Ghost. All right. All right. Yeah, y'all, y'all don't know it. But this poll be another lesson. But the Holy Ghost. You need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost leads you to do holy, to talk holy, to act holy, to preach holy. Not preach sin. <laughs> preach holy. Preach repentance, remission of sin. Jesus Christ blood in front of the remission of your sin. Jesus Christ blood clear you from all sin. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? Ask the Lord to fill you with the Holy Ghost so you'll talk right and preach right. Don't go along the wrong. You wrong, that's on you. That's not the Holy Ghost. That's not Jesus. with. Resist that devil. Get thee behind me, Satan. For it's written. Hallelujah. You need the Holy Ghost. That's enough. Thank you for hearing.